kind of results are they gonna put up everyone's playing? Hmm? No. Just chilling. Yep. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run a quick commercial here. Thanks for hanging out this afternoon, everyone. All right. Um, yeah, sounds great. Let's keep it. Uh, this is going to get... I don't know if this wants to get Stomping Grounds or Temple Garden. This probably wants to get Temple Garden. Like, we're going to need white cards at some point. I guess we have a chance to see what our opponent's playing before we make a commitment. Uh, no, I'm not going to be playing any standard today. Like, the standard format really makes no sense to play, because standard's going to change a ton. Like, modern's only going to change a minimal amount. Standard's, like, going to be a whole new format. This hand's actually pretty good against burn on the play here. Scape- Scape- <laughs> Twin wasn't the deck keeping Scapeshift from being good. Scapeshift just isn't a good deck, and that's why it wasn't played. If this was a wall of omens, I'd run this block off 100%, but because we don't have another land in our hand, I'm not going to block here. Scape Shift was bad before Twin got and Bloom got banned, and it'll still be bad after Twin and Bloom get banned. Uh, Avalanche Riders is really expensive. The matchup where you want to destroy lands, four mana is a lot more than three. So Fulminator, I, th I think, is just strictly better and the aspects of what you want to be doing with it. So I'm not running the block here because I'm not I'm really not okay getting Searing Blaze, and I'm probably not okay with getting Lightning Bolted either. If he wants to, like, spend two burn spells to kill the Wall of Roots, I mean, I guess we have to live with that, and then we get to play the Scavenging Ooze. Hopefully, if he kills this Wall of Roots, we get to, we get to uh, draw some lands. Don't kill my wall. Don't do it. All right, good. He's hitting me. All right, now we have to hope there's a land in our top two cards since we're going to nine here and our opponents have four cards in hand. That's pretty good. All right. Land on top. Land on top. Come on, Worth. You can do it. I believe. I believe. Kept a two-lander. See an extra card. Die with... Die with two lands. That's magic sometimes. That's fine. We got a pile of lightning helixes on the board. We won't keep bad hands in the post board games. We're not just dead. Maybe he's got a bunch of creatures and lands in hand. If his hand is all spells, we're in trouble. But our deck's really good at coming up the ground. So if he's got some creatures in there, that's that's not the worst for us. Especially this po this pontiff that just like to stone nothing in this matchup being on top of our deck. A little awkward. Yeah, the Leon and Arbiter decks aren't very good at all. Like, you have to play a bunch of cards that aren't aren't great. Um, and, like, it, like when your cards all line up in the Leon and Arbiter decks, they're really powerful. But there's going to be a lot of games when you play a long tournament where your cards don't all line up well. And then you're just, like, playing this collection of really bad cards because they're not, they're not very good. Uh, thanks for all the new follows, folks. So there were a bunch of those. Hope everyone's having a good pre-release weekend. Uh, I don't play limited, so I'm not playing pre-releases. But I hope anyone that is is playing is having a good time. Uh, probably running the block with the wall of roots this turn. We could just be dead. Like, he could just, like, fetch kill us. I'm glad we didn't block last turn, so he definitely would have bolted the wall of roots and killed it, and then, like, we would have just been stone dead since we haven't... 
explain why we prefer Corsair over Kitchen Finks. Well, Corsair lets us, lets us, uh, this is a Searing Blaze vomit. Yep. That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't think Kitchen Finks does a lot. Like, the body isn't impressive. Yeah, I am. I I love that twin got banned. I don't. I don't. I like the people don't realize how obnoxious twin was to play against. I don't think. So, maybe we're not just dead here. He's got two cards. Hopefully, some of them are creatures here. So we're gonna fetch a basic forest, and then we're gonna play this scavenging ooze and eat this wall of roots. Hey, Bamboo Beat, thanks for the sub. I really appreciate that, man. We got some sweet, some sweet emotes. We could use a little, we could use a little Hoogle Flood. This is live, not a replay. We play another land. Searing Blaze would suck. He just like two spells and we're dead. Hopefully, like draw some creatures and some lands and we get a chance to stabilize here a little bit. For those of you that your first time watching the stream, uh, basically just play Constructed here. You'll never see me drafting or cubing or anything like that. Uh, a lot of modern. Um, I'll occasionally be playing standard when there's a relevant standard format to play on Magic Online. So uh, I am preparing for the SCG Open in Atlanta, which is standard week one format. But we can't play standard on Magic Online right now. That's relevant. So can't test that. Uh, we aren't just dead. So I'm hoping he's just not like going to the bathroom and then coming back and casting two burn spells and killing us. That would be That would be annoying. Um, I think if we miss our land drop next turn, if we're going to miss our land drop next turn, we're going to play witness, witness back a, uh, fetch land and then play that. If he attacks here, like we're blocking, not close. Yeah, so we're going to, we would miss this land drop. So we're going to go ahead and play this eternal witness. And I think we're going to play this bird as well. Hey, my phone said, can you put Daniel on the TV for him? We're, we're gonna, Jake, okay? Uh, I will be at the Chicago Regionals, weather permitting. He likes me, sure, man. Okay, so we're going to three here. So, like, here's an interesting choice. Do I play... I think I'm actually going to wait here. I'm going to shove with this scavenging ooze because um, if, he, if he draws a three damage spell next turn, we can uh, path our eternal witness and gain a life that way. So if he draws a three damage burn spell, we can. It was like has Boros Charm, so we're dead. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Why do they always have the Boros Charm? That's so frustrating. All right, we get another game. So like, if he just had a three damage spell there, we'd fetch and get a basic planes and stay at three, and then like path our Eternal Witness and go to four. But he has Boros Charm, which does four damage, so we can't. We can't do that. Board out the expensive cards. Yep, same board plan as last time. The burn deck's very good. Like, the burn deck is easily one of the best decks in the format and has been for some time. Like, the burn deck's been super pushed lately, too. Like, the uh, the last few sets have given burn, like, really powerful and consistent cards, like a Monastery for Spear and a Tarkus Command and Eidolon of Rhetoric, like, have all pushed the burn deck to the next level. Uh, we're playing 61 cards in the main deck right now. We're going to change that after this this match that ends the league. 
I mean, like, you have to, like, draw the battle off naturally. I had a battle for a while, and I just, like, kept not boarding it in except against Burn. So I added a Burrington Forge Tender, because I think Forge Tender is actually just better in this matchup. All right, let's keep... Yeah, that's why I think, like, instant all life gain, like, Corsair is much better. I'm going to play the Stomping Ground tapped on one. We really want to draw, like, Plains or Razor Verge Thicket. You can see this Horizon Canopy costing us percentage points in the burn matchup here. Like, if this Horizon Canopy was a third Razor Verge Thicket, we'd, like, this hand would just be, like, insane, could never lose. But because it's a Horizon Canopy, like, we're going to be kind of pressured, pressured this game. All right, sweet. So, like, a no a no creature start out of him is just phenomenal for us. We drew another Helix. So, uh, because we drew another Helix, I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here and uh, fetch shock and play, play this Wall of Omens. So I wouldn't, uh, I probably would have been a little bit more conservative with my life total here if we weren't, if we didn't pick up the second copy of Lightning Helix here. And like Helix is the the hedge against this matchup, like it's in the sideboard for additional removal against things like uh, Affinity and Infect, because it's like great in those matchups where you just like want to more kill all the things, but uh, it's just like also a super hedge in this matchup, which is why I played this as opposed to something like uh, Lightning Bolt in the sideboard. Uh, I, I wrote an entire article about what happened in Top 8 with the sleeves. You can read about it on uh, MTG Card Market. I'm just going to Helix him here. Like, our hand is mono removal right now, so I'm just going to play this while we can't get skull cracked. Let me pull up my Card Market article. For those asking... Suspended Rift Bolt. So there's... There's that. And actually, like, the, the Horizon Canopy actually isn't looking that bad right now because we get to... Um, oh, Restoration Angel's a great draw there. Can trips with the wall, and it uh, lets us get some pressure on the table. I will not be at the 2K next weekend. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to be uh, in, the, in Atlanta for the Open. Getting Boros Charmed here at Instep or something. Yeah, man, you got me. <sighs> we could just die. That's unfortunate. Feels like second Boros Charm, third. Yeah, I made some bad choices this game. We could die here when I play this, and maybe I was supposed to Helix him during during the last end step, but. <laughs> Then don't move him. Okay, play this canopy out. Uh, I think the bands are great. Uh, Twin has always been an oppressively powerful deck. The question is, do I want to play this voice? The upside to playing the voice is that with this helix in our hand, it puts him on a two-turn clock. It also makes it harder for me. All right, yeah, I've talked myself into playing the voice. Hopefully he's got some creatures in his hand. Like he's played a lot of a lot of actual spells already, so. Sweet, so we're just nothing's happening to us this turn. Or you just have another person that's gonna like. Yeah, I'm sure you, you might hear a little bit of Daniel Tiger in the background. Voice did did skyrocket. And actually, one of the things we're going to do when we make changes here to the deck in a second, I think we're going to cut the fourth voice now that Twin's not a deck anymore. Voice is still good, but I don't think we need four of them if Twin's not a deck. Uh, I haven't liked Legacy for a long time, so 